centuries-old tradition dictates that royal jewelry remains with the family. The British royals have passed priceless jewels from one generation to the next, although they don't always survive intact. These stunning pieces may have evolved over time, but they never lose their luster. Today, we set out to discover 10 of the most breathtaking royal heirlooms. From the lover's knot tiara, now gracefully draped upon the head of the Princess of Wales, to Princess Diana's controversial engagement ring, each piece holds a unique story that has been passed down through the ages. Queen Mary's Lover's Knot Tiara Queen Mary commissioned the tiara in 1913, taking inspiration from her grandmother, Princess Augusta of Hesse's Lover's Knot Tiara. Upon Queen Mary's death in 1953, the headpiece passed to her granddaughter, Queen Elizabeth II, who loaned it to Princess Diana. After Diana's death, it was not seen until Kate wore it at Buckingham Palace in 2015. Today, it is one of Kate's favorite tiaras. Queen Mary supplied recycled material from her existing toppers, Ladies of England tiara, when ordering the lover's knot from the House of Gerard. The tiara originally had 19 upright pearls along the top, but they were later removed and only the suspended pearls remain. The Four-Row Pearl Choker The four-stranded pearl necklace was created for Queen Elizabeth, and she has since loaned it to Princess Diana and Kate Middleton. It is believed that the Japanese government presented the pearls to Queen Elizabeth as a gift for the necklace. The piece was made by Gerard and may have been designed with the possibility of adding a fifth strand of pearls at a later time, should the Queen so desire. Queen Mary's Diamond Bar Choker Bracelet Queen Mary was the first royal to possess the diamond choker, which was just one of the many diamond pieces in her collection. After her death, the exquisite choker was not seen again until 1975, when the Queen Mother wore it for her 75th birthday portrait. Today, Kate Middleton appears to have it on loan from the Queen, as she has been seen wearing it multiple times in recent years. The piece, originally designed as a choker, has been worn as a bracelet by subsequent royal generations after Queen Mary. It boasts a unique chain-link pattern, sometimes referred to as an Art Deco design. The Lotus Flower Tiara The headpiece was initially made for Queen Elizabeth, the future Queen Mother, who donned it in pictures used to promote King George VI's coronation in 1937. She wore it low across her forehead, while subsequent generations of royals wore it higher up on the head. Princess Margaret was one such royal who inherited the headpiece. When Margaret's son was getting married, she loaned the tiara to his fiancée, Serena Stanhope, for the wedding. It seems that Margaret returned the piece to the royal family before her death, as Kate Middleton has been seen wearing it in recent years. King George VI gave his wife a diamond and pearl necklace as a wedding celebration gift. However, Queen Elizabeth promptly had it remade into the lotus flower tiara to better suit her taste. Princess Diana's Engagement Ring Prince Charles proposed to his first wife, Princess Diana, with this magnificent ring. Even after their divorce, Diana continued to wear it. In 2010, Prince William presented the same ring to his now wife, Kate Middleton, as an engagement ring. Despite its grand appearance, the ring caused a bit of controversy as it was purchased off the shelf from Garrod's catalog. Although the $60,000 cost prevented it from becoming too widespread, some members of the royal family were dissatisfied that it was not a one-of-a-kind piece. However, Princess Diana was not among the critics, as she personally selected the ring. Queen Alexandra's Wedding Necklace As a wedding present, Prince Albert, who later became King Edward VII, gifted his bride, Princess Alexandra of Denmark, a stunning jewelry set, which included the famous Queen Alexandra's Wedding Necklace. After the passing of the Queen Mother, who frequently wore the necklace, it was passed down to Queen Elizabeth. The magnificent piece was kept hidden for a number of years until Kate Middleton donned it for the Dutch State Banquet in 2018. The Cartier Halo Tiara 
The Cartier Halo Tiara, now famous as the wedding headpiece of Kate Middleton, has a rich history beyond its recent usage. The regal adornment was originally procured by King George VI for his beloved wife, Queen Elizabeth. In celebration of her daughter's 18th birthday, Queen Elizabeth gifted the tiara to then Princess Elizabeth. The tiara, made up of 739 brilliant cut diamonds and 149 batten diamonds, boasts its name from its halo shape and the iconic jewelry brand Cartier, who crafted it. Maple Leaf Brooch King George VI presented his beloved wife, Queen Elizabeth, with this radiant brooch to commemorate their state visit to Canada in 1939. The then Princess Elizabeth was given the opportunity to wear it during her 1951 visit to Canada, but it remained in the possession of the Queen Mother until her passing. Upon her death, Queen Elizabeth II inherited the piece and has lent it to both Camilla Parker Bowles and Kate Middleton for their respective trips to Canada. Crafted by the prestigious jeweler Asprey, this diamond-encrusted brooch boasts a unique design that pays homage to Canada and the Commonwealth with diamonds set in platinum. Queen Mary's Diamond Bandeau The Diamond Bandeau Tiara, as the name implies, was first owned by Queen Mary when it was crafted in 1932. Upon Queen Mary's passing, the tiara was handed down to Queen Elizabeth II. The central gem of the tiara was originally a brooch that Queen Mary received as a wedding gift in 1893. But 40 years later, the tiara was specially designed to showcase this beautiful piece. The tiara features a flexible band composed of 11 sections that showcase both pavé and brilliant diamonds. Prominently, the queen lent the diamond bandeau to Meghan Markle for her and Prince Harry's wedding. The Delhi Durbar Tiara This grand piece of jewelry has a difficult history, being tied to Britain's colonial past. It was crafted for the 1911 Delhi Durbar, an event that marked King George V and Queen Mary's coronation as Emperor and Empress of India. After the celebration, Queen Mary lent the tiara to her daughter-in-law, the Queen Mother, who kept it until her passing in 2002. The Delhi Durbar tiara made headlines when it was worn by Camilla, Duchess of York, to a royal event. It was created by combining parts of another of Queen Mary's tiaras, the Boucheron Loop tiara. Initially, the headpiece was adorned with pearl-shaped emeralds, but Queen Mary later removed these gems and added them to the Vladimir tiara. The Delhi Durbar was also adorned with the Cullinan two and four diamonds at times when Queen Mary wore it. Later generations have continued to wear the tiara without any additional jewels added. If there's anything that we missed, or if you know of any other interesting tales, do share in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for joining us today. See you in the following videos. Goodbye.